Ladies and gentlemen, yours truly, the soul in a sense. Even in his absence, I remain Kobe when it comes to the cologne collection. Rest in peace to Gigi. The freestyles are flagrant today. We talking fragrance. And the fragrances that we're going to be talking about are the flankers from Paco Rabanne's One Million. Let's get into it. I'm what they fear, black man with intelligence. Ghetto fab splashed with a dash of elegance. Well spoken, but could tell him hood. Attitude funky, but that boy be smelling good. Not just a rapper, I'm a poet. They point out all my flaws, but fail to mention my heroics. Through the ages, different phases. Went from playing with razors to no say goodbye blazers. No more child's play, we grown. Less bottles of Patron, more bottles of cologne. It's like a cheat code to make a coochie melt. She paying more attention to your fragrance than your Gucci belt. So go to Bloomies, cop a bottle or two. Get some sense for your girl, cop some bottles for you. I'm giving out lessons. Come and take a part of this class. Before you spray that fragrance on, make sure you wash your ass. Look, that's just something that I got to say. Step your collection up. No more Axe body spray. So in a sense, so what a hater gonna tell me? I'm Kobe when it comes to the colognes. You smell me? A wise man once said, I'm chilling, sitting on about half a million with all my niggas, all my guns, all my women. Next two years, I should see about a billion, all for the love of drug dealing. If you know who said that, jump down there in the comments. So like I said, today we're going to be talking about the gold bottles. I ain't talking about the ace of spades over there. This is Paco Rabanne's one million. Me personally, I've grown out of the OG one million. Um... It's kind of for the younger crowd. It's a little playful. And if you know me, you know I like to play. All right. Um, shout out to Joey Badass. Joey Badass is actually the face of Paco Rabanne's One Million. Me personally, like I said, I'm not really into that scent no more. I'm more into the flankers. So before we get into these flankers, do me a favor. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share it with your friend whose house smells funny. Because chances are the crib stinks. They do too. Without further ado, this is the news you could use. Now, a flanker is the offspring to the OG scents, okay? A lot of times, companies come out with a scent, and if it does well, they'll come out with flankers. Sometimes the flankers are better, sometimes not so much. Um, they usually stick with the same DNA, just switch up the notes a little bit, but if you're a frag head like myself, you'll be able to see how the scents are related. Now, Paco Rabanne, one million. When I started out on my fragrance journey, it was a bottle I acquired very early. I even remember getting it the same day I got Chanel Blue. Chanel Blue, still one of my favorite scents. I've kind of outgrown Paco Rabanne's One Million. Um, I think where I'm at in life, I'm just a lot more mature. They actually have a special edition bottle, okay? It comes in a leather case, solid gold, encrusted with diamonds. It costs $57,000. If you're anything like me, and you're still making payment arrangements on your phone bill, even when you got that money, you ain't getting that, all right? But Paco Rabanne, one million flankers, yeah, I got a few of them. And here's some of my favorites. All right, so we got to start with the latest release from the Paco Rabanne one million line, and that's one million elixir. This has apple, rose, cedar, vanilla, tonka bean, and patchouli. Now, it still has the DNA as the OG, but it's just a lot more mature. The vanilla has that sweetness from the OG, but think of like when it's two brothers, one is older, one is younger, they look just alike, but they, they doing two different things in life. And this is more in line with where I'm at in life. So I tend to throw this on, maybe not as often as I should, but I do enjoy it. A lot more mature than the first one. If you can get your hands on this, I suggest you pick it up because I've gotten a lot of compliments on this. Next flanker that we got to talk about is One Million Lucky. As you can see, all these bottles, they glisten and they glow. Immaculate presentation on this. This has got plum, grapefruit, bergamot, hazelnut, honey, cedar, jasmine, patchouli, oak moss, and vetiver. Now, that note combination, had I just read it on paper, I probably would like it. This is probably my least favorite flanker out of the three that I do have. Um... It's a little too airy, uh, kind of has that same playful DNA that the OG has. So 
on a day that I would wear something like this, I got a lot of other bottles I would reach for instead. So as beautiful as this bottle is, as immaculate as the presentation is, I don't really find myself reaching for it. Maybe I should revisit it. Mm, I don't know. Maybe it'll work for you. Not really my thing, though. Bottle's beautiful, though. Okay, we saved the best for last. Last but definitely not least, this is One Million Privé, all right? This has got cinnamon, blood mandarin, tobacco, tonka bean, and patchouli, all right? Now, the tobacco in it is actually hookah smoked tobacco. And you know how much these hoes love hookah. So if you can get your hands on this, try to, because it's discontinued. This right here is smoky. It's cinnamony. I don't even know if that's a word, but the, the cinnamon in it lends like a, a grown sweetness to it. Um, this is actually my favorite out of all the flankers that One Million has released. I find myself reaching for it more than any of the other flankers. When I want to get my grown man on, it smell like something that um, you really don't have to worry about nobody else smelling like because this is discontinued. So if you can get your hands on it, I say go for it. Now, if y'all know anything about my collection, I got my stuff top tier, mid tier, low tier. This, mid tier. This, mid tier. This, eh, bottom tier. But who knows? At any given moment, they can move up in the ranks the same way you can move up in life. So step your collection up, wash your ass. Remember, I don't do this for views. This is the news you could use. Keep your distance, mind your business, step your collection up.